Would you please just eat something? Please. There's a lot of them, but you know what? One of the cliches that I hate more than almost all of them, ladies, is your soup and salad cliche. I'm not sure if it's like you care too much or you care too little about what we think of you when you're eating something. Stop caring. I was gonna tell you, right now, we don't care that much. Just as long as you're not like dumb fists and pusses in your face and like stuffing your bra with the used napkins, we don't care. You don't have to go out to dinner with us and just order the smallest thing on the menu and a water to save us a little bit of money. And it was kind of your idea to come out and eat. We agreed on it. And we know you're probably starving. Like my Neopets that I haven't fed in like 1600 days. I just haven't had time to go to the giant omelet! And if you do get a burger, you don't have to sit there and cut it up into perfect little squares and eat it daintily. You don't have to worry about maintaining this degree of feminism because fuck it. If you make a little bit of a mess around us, it kind of cuts the tension. It shows us that you're comfortable around us and that you're not afraid to be yourself. Try to picture this. We were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. That wasn't it. I, I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Picture this. You get a cheeseburger, and I'm already happy because you got real food, and not that soup and salad from Olive Garden. I know it's endless, but you don't get any refills. So you get this cheeseburger, and it shows up, and it's massive. Like, this thing is a monster. Even if you cut this sucker up into quarters, you're still gonna have a hard time getting that first bite. And this thing is just dripping with grease and condiments and all kinds of delicious stuff, and you're just looking at me like, this is about to happen. So we make this awkward eye contact and kind of smile because we both know that you're already embarrassed that you're gonna have to try to go through with this. And you're damn right I'm gonna sit back, put my food down, and watch you try to eat this thing. Oh yeah, get it. Get it! Eat it! Yeah! Sorry. So you start blushing and you're making these gestures. <laughs> Everybody's happy. It's a good time. But wait a second. What's that? Hold on. You got um, uh, a little something right there. A little bit of sauce in your face. A little bit of sauce in your face. You know what you just did? You just set up the perfect opportunity for us to be a gentleman. Oh, don't worry. Oh, There's a big smudge there. Oh, I'm gonna... There you go. That's perfect. Oh, I thought we were on the same page here. What's that smell? Whew. Of all the foods you can get, try to avoid the smelly foods, especially if it's like the first date thing. If you're in for a long day or a late night and you guys don't really know each other and you're not 100% comfortable, try to avoid the crazy amounts of onions and garlic and anything that might be just ugh. You don't want to be like Spongebob when he made that sunny. Now if you are comfortable around one another, like really comfortable around one another, and you're craving that disgusting, excessively aromatic entree, Get it, but at least try to have a backup plan. I'm Snapchatting, okay? Just give me a second. Oh, don't do that either. If you're out like, like a date, don't be sitting there on your phone the whole time. Whew, I totally forgot that one, that's a big pet peeve. Even I am addicted to my phone, but when it comes to a situation like that, I keep her in my pocket. Hi, how are you guys? What can I get you to drink? Don't be that guy, don't be that girl, that's a, nobody should ever be that person. Keep your phone in your pocket. I love the way my hands look on this, I don't know why. It was dark. Getting off subject. Ah, as I was saying, if you're gonna have something really smelly, just have a backup plan. I'd like to say have gum, but make sure it's a strong gum. You want a nice peppermint or spearmint, cinnamon, something that's actually gonna stand a chance against garlic. You can't just throw a stick of juicy food in your mouth and call it a day. And for the few of you that have been around for a long time, I always keep mouthwash in my car. Listerine. Just go to the bar and take a few shots of rumple mints. Gentlemen, if there's something that your ladies should probably never do at the dinner table, post it in the comment below. If I agree with it, I'll put it in the description box with the rest of mine. And for the ladies, let's hear some things that you think us guys should never do at the dinner table that we always do. What's your biggest turnoffs out of dinner? I'd love to hear it. Put us in our place. Book me in the ring, I don't mind. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Adam Hawk. Links will be below. And you guys have a good day. Bye. There's a light between my fingers. <gasps> oh god, it's a calling. It looks like a bronze.